So I've written the definition of this notation. It's the least integer greater than or equal to x. So I did an example. The least integer greater than or equal to 4.2 would be 5. The least integer greater than or equal to negative 7.3 would be negative 7. Because if you look at the number line, here's negative 7.3. The least integer greater than would be negative 7. So now let's look at our problem. We know that it's, we're trying to figure out, uh, we know that the least integer is 0. So what are the values of x? If you look at the number line, here is 0. If this is negative 1. Any of these numbers in here, the least integer greater than or equal to any of those numbers will be zero. So if you look at your ant, for example, the least integer of negative 0.9, what's the least integer greater than or equal to that? Well, it would have to be zero. The question is, do you include negative one? If you take the least integer by the definition of negative one, the least integer of x is greater than or equal to, so this would be negative 1. So the, if you take the least integer function of negative 1, you do not get 0, you get negative 1. So 1 is not included, so it had to be negative 1 up to x, less than, less than x, less than or equal to 0.